Funke Akindele Bello, apart from being the owner of Sin One TV, one of the biggest movie streaming platforms in Nigeria, has also enjoyed the best time in her career as an actress and producer. Funke has also been married and enjoying a decent family life for a few years now. But it looks like things are beginning to fall apart for the well-loved actress. Her second shot at love and marriage with rapper JJC Skills is reportedly fast crashing like a pack of badly stacked cards. According to an Instagram blogger who claimed to have gotten information from an insider, the Nollywood Twitter kicked a husband out of their Amen estate home for squandering a money. Despite a rapper husband coming out to dispel the rumors, saying the devil is a liar and their home is rock solid, it appears this is not the only thing troubling the mother of twins' marriage. JJC Skills' ex-wife, Mela, has asked the 44-year-old comic actress to prepare for war as she exposed the face of Funke's twin sons, which she has been hiding from the media since they were born in 2018. The British woman who has a teenage son with Funke's husband shared the exclusive photo of the actress's twin boys and in the caption sounded a strong note of warning to the actress by saying, If you don't want me to expose your family, then don't expose mine. Why is JJ Siskiyou's ex-wife locking on with the Jennifer Diaries star actress? How did it all start and how is it going? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Nollywood's finest, Funke Akindele Bello, was once among the celebrities who had money and fame but not love or healthy marriage. The actress who takes credit for the longest-running sitcom, Jennifer's Diary, had initially fallen for the wrong guy, Kende Oloyede. The Omogeto star actress completely ignored his flaws and later married this man as his second wife in 2012. Sadly, when Funke wasn't locking horns with her senior wife, her ex-husband was abusing and threatening her domestically. One day, precisely 413 days later, when actually filming, her ex-husband broke the news that they were parting ways. The comic actress said it generated so much noise and humiliation that she cried like a baby, wanted to die at some point and even lost huge ambassadorial deals. But you know that saying about life giving us a second chance? Well, the talented actress got hers in 2013 after one of her sisters introduced her to JJC skills for a movie project. Funke said it was love at first sight. After dating for over two years, the couple tied the knot in 2016 in a secret wedding in London. But because of her bitter past experience, the actress became extremely private about her marital and personal life. All she ever shares with fans on social media is a perfect marriage without flaws. Her rapper husband was previously married to Mela and had three kids from three different women. JJC skills, however, made Funke Akindele his last boss stop and showed great commitment to her even with the mockery that he is the wife and the actress, the husband. The Nollywood couple took privacy to the next level in December of 2018 when they welcomed their twin boys and refused to show their faces to their millions of fans. The actress would show their back during playtime with mama and dada, even during school-related activities, but never their face. The self-styled Jennifer and Ayetoro Town claimed she was shielding them from the unnecessary pressure of being the kids of celebrities. But what if something was more than that? Well, we will all find out in a recent marital scandal. On April 10, 2022, an Instagram gossip blogger broke the news that all was not well in the actress' picture-perfect home. The reports claimed Funke kicked JJC's skills from their Amen estate home after accusing him of squandering her money, which she did not agree to as the largest share owner of the company. A rapper husband reportedly went to London to cool off and gave his wife space to calm down. But in the meantime, the report has it that JJC's skills rented another apartment somewhere in Lagos and has a plan B should things with his Nollywood wife, who he said is too controlling, do not end well. After the news went viral, the rapper quickly debunked the rumors, sharing photos of himself, his wife and their twin sons, noting that the devil is a liar and their home is rock solid. Calling the actress his love, the industry creator said while enjoying London, he also misses his wife and kids and can't wait to join them. However, JJC Skills' son, Benito, who he fathered with his ex-wife, said something else. While reacting to TikTok blogger Tosin Silva Dam's post about the issue, Ben in the comment section made it known that he lived under Funke Akindele's roof for two years and the house was a horror sight. Hey, this factor is getting serious. So I posted a video of Funke Akindele and her husband um, having issues allegedly. And um, so why going to the comments on TikTok a few minutes ago, I stumbled on a particular uh, comment. 
Yes, and um, it happens to be JJC um, son, Fredele's um, stepson, Benny Boy, this guy. So while going to the comment section, I saw this comment. She's not what you all think she is. I lived there for two years. The house was the horror side. I was like, who is this person? I clicked on that profile and then um, Luan Bio, it is JJC's um, um, son, Fredele's um, stepson. Hey? The 17 year old added that Funke, his father's wife, is not who her fans think she is. Usually, this is the point where stories such as this die, but not in this case. What's her face next was an anonymous story about Benito being a difficult teenager who isn't doing so well in school, has been repeating classes and has been doing drugs since the age of 11. And here was how the real bass boost started. Benito's mom, Mela, took to her Instagram page and shared never seen before photos of Funke Akindele's twin son's faces. In the caption, she warned that if the actress doesn't want her family issues exposed, she should not expose hers. Mela then reached out to Tosin Silver Dam, explaining why she posted the photos that ought to be private. Sharing some screenshots as proof, JJC Skills' ex-wife claims she believes Funke or her sister asked the blogger to share the damning story about her son using drugs and repeating classes. When her son was asked to repeat his class, Mela explained that she told his father who must have told his wife. When she reached out to JJC Skills about the story, it confirmed the source could have only been either Funke Akindele or her sister. The British ex-wife then repeated what her son had said about the Jennifer Diary star, noting she is not the sweetheart she claims to be but only a carefully crafted PR image and a closet bully. Since rumors of a shaky marriage and the accusations from her husband's ex-wife surfaced, Funke has refused to react despite fans urging her to sue Mela for sharing private pictures of her children. Well, I'll be like Jingle Bello. I'll be like, this matter is not ending anytime soon, honestly speaking. So, Benito, JJC's son, and Funke Kedele's stepson has finally spoken. Uh, so, he did a long video explaining, saying in details what truly really happened. How his father, JJC, physically assaulted him on the school ground. That everybody um, has a pretty good day. Um, forget about negativity and all of that, you know. I just wanted to let everybody know that you know just focus on what you're doing in life you know what i mean there's so much shit always going around but at the end of the day people gotta do what they gotta do and you gotta do what you gotta do you know what i mean think about yourself think about your family think about what's best for you you know there's a lot of things that's always happening. I'd like people to finally know the truth as to what really happened. You know, I've been seeing a lot of speculation. I've been, you know, I've been seeing a lot of rumors and assumptions about what's been going on. There are mistakes that people do make. And, you know, all we do is move on from it. And I am in the UK now. And the plan anyway was for me to come to the UK and to start my life out here, which I am doing. Yes, I did get expelled. And when my dad did pick me up, Whilst we were driving, um, he began to start shout shouting at me and, you know, I could only just say sorry, I could only just, you know, just try to defuse the thing, but, you know, he slapped me first and, I'm, you know, you know, we've all been slapped as it happens. And then the slaps turned into punches and it was repeated punches in the school grounds and the security guards, there were about 10, 15 security guards that were just there trying to hold my dad back. And he just kept on punching me and punching me in my head and it just kept on becoming worse and worse and worse and you know, as you can see there like i just started getting blood coming out of my head and all of that shit. and you know i tried to leave and he grabbed my tie and like started choking me and shit, and like kept on punching me in my head and all of that and the security guards were trying to hold him back to make him stop doing that to me about 40 to 50 minutes on the road you know, whilst driving, he would be punching me in the head repeatedly, repeatedly, like, just pa 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 kept on punching me. And, uh, you know, I had my arms up the whole time. I had to keep my guard up because, you know, I didn't know what necessarily was going to happen next. It wasn't just at the school. Whilst he was driving, he was driving recklessly on the road. He was nearly, you know, running over people whilst shouting at me, threatening that he was going to kill me, that I'm a waste of space and that and that I'm completely and utterly useless to him and that, you know, he'd rather me dead 
and he just kept on punching me and punching me and punching me and punching me and I kept on and I you know the side of my face just kept on getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it didn't it didn't stop you know he'd be punching me on my on my ribs you know I, I, I got like a bruised rib from it and it just kept on coming and coming and coming and coming and coming it didn't stop and he was doing reckless driving stopping in the middle of the road kept on punching me it, it, it never stopped and kept on threatening that he was gonna kill me in my head I was like I need to get out of this place can we just be honest I was never as bad as you made me out to be you just needed me to be bad so you could justify how badly you treated me Yai Beji, in her last post, shared snippets from the story of her early beginnings and in the caption she wrote, Remember that good things don't come easy. Is this the actress trying to say that she must face adversity at some point to build a good, long-lasting home? Hmm. What do you think about this ongoing messy fight between Funke and her husband's ex-wife, Mela? Do you believe Funke has been spinning rumors about Mela's son? Does this warrant exposing private photos of our children? Lastly, how long do you think this fight would last? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.